Okay, so I'm waiting for my cab to pick me up. So I'm done for today. I can see to the back of me is a parking lot. And uh, that's the house that's next to it. And uh, the Hobbs house will be a couple of couple of houses in. So I just want to uh, conclude today. I am glad that God has allowed me this opportunity to come to this place to remember Syl Sylvia Likens and her sister, how they suffered here under the hands of these cruel and heartless and evil people, uh, masterminded by this woman, Gertrude Benicheski. Um, as a Christian, I shouldn't hate her, uh, and uh, but I should trust that God, that justice to God, because God says, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. If Gertrude has not repented of her sins and has received Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior uh, before she died, then she would be in torment now. She would not be in peace. And the Bible speaks about the degrees of suffering and in, in, in wrath, in God's wrath. And for the crimes that she did, not only to Sylvia uh, and Jenny, but also to the other kids, uh, because she was the chief architect behind this heinous crime, and uh, she corrupted the other kids uh, to participate in uh, this sordid uh, experiment on the poor girl. So uh, hopefully she got saved. I heard that she declared herself a born again Christian. I, I don't really know about that. But uh, anyway, thank God that he gave me this opportunity today to come here and to participate in worshiping God in the, this church, which uh, was directly across from the parking lot uh, where Sylvia uh, was kept in the house. So uh, thank God and for this opportunity and thank uh, may God be the glory and if God is willing I uh, like to come back at least one more time and I would also like to visit the uh, memorial uh, on Washington Street uh, that's not too far from here so thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time